Hello everyone, so welcome to my video and in this video I I am going to talk about how to use the render callback method or functions to stress our fountain elements. So render callbacks method or function you can say whatever you like is a powerful uh, callback or callback method or function that we can easily uh, use this uh, callbacks and we can uh, modify our font and elements contents even we can uh, pass a style using this component um, using this uh, method so well at least i want to talk about this render callbacks today so that we can understand this callbacks of power and depth so when we're just going to register a custom blocks you can see this is our function the register blocks and it is coming from this render so register blocks type and so when we are just going to register these blocks we are passing this name of these blocks i mean this is our name so you can see this is our first block and we are passing this first blocks name from here and there is an optional parameters and that is our render callbacks so since we are uh, writing our PSP code in our object oriented format so I am just going to call this first the I mean the associated array key and it is called the render callback uh, so I am writing my the uh, PSP code in all of the style so first I have to mention the class that means this uh, this will and uh, this will mention this class I mean this our existing class uh, where we are working so I think you have already know about to this and the second option is to the name of this callback so first I want to just call this callback name is our first block first blocks render callback or something like this you can say and things so I want to write down so the necessary uh, code for this callback here so it will be like this so render callback so I want to make it a public function that is not a problems so public and function first block blocks render callbacks this uh function i mean this uh callback has uh three parameters first one is our attributes that's mean we can access to all of our attributes related to this uh block and second one is our the content and third one is our the name of this block like this one that means now we can access to all of this component uh, i mean this all of this attributes content and blocks properties like a blocks class name or some other options like context it is so this render callback method actually returns uh, the content finally it will return the content so that means we must have to return our content at the end of this callback so I'm just going to return my content and if I save and run this uh, since we're writing this PSP code so it is not a matter if you run to your NPM or not it will, end, it will work fine in your front end so if I go back to my front end and I will see this content is loading fine but there is no changes let us try to change our content from here like if you do not return to any content from here like you just want to return a blank or just uh, print some text like hello world then it will replace all of this content and it will print the hello world at the, at the front end and if you refresh I will see this it is just printing our hello world and it is removing all of this content if you want to keep the both content like our plugins uh, I mean this our blog content 
plus our custom content that we can easily communicate them from here like so this content and torch with this one like this hello world and if you do this we'll find out that both contents are loading fine first our content that's mean this content is coming from our blog and the second is our custom content that we have passed from our uh, render callback method that means we can just modify our content using this method right okay suppose you want to change this uh content like i want to make it the upper case as to your to like upper case so that means we want to make the content all upper case and if you do this and go back to this uh front and i will see the word content is upper case that means we can modify our content using this callback method so it is really powerful so basically we will use this powerful feature i mean this uh method to install our front end uh component that means we will pass uh, our css from here and even we will uh register our inline style using this render callback so let me explain some more in details just we can just we're going to rare return to our content but if we just simply harden to our attributes will you get all of these attributes let us try to get the one of this attributes so like the program where we can print our of our attributes that means we'll get all of this attributes information here and if you refresh i will see that we're getting so all of this I mean this all of the uh, attributes let us try to uh, make it a more readable like print this echo and protect and similarly just I'm going to copy and paste it here and just simply close it and if I try to refresh I will see that all of the attributes are now available here like the variety uh, titles and you can see if i go back say how i was find out this is our box and if you check out the all of, uh, attributes you can see in our inside our attributes we are getting the id titles that's been multiple title icons generated and the color and if you check out the front end we'll see this is our id titles there are five total five titles and this is the icon to join a date color and there is an extra information that is our class name so you can see you are getting so all of the information for your blocks using this uh renter callback method or function so it is really powerful and you can do what ever you like so in the next video i will just going to install my uh, font and element using this render callbacks first we will create a functions and we will register the function uh, so that we can register our inline stylings using this render callbacks and then we will put uh, a style i mean this will apply our uh, style to our font and elements using this render callback method so this next episode will be so exciting and enjoyable i think so so wait for the next video i will try to release the next video as soon as possible enjoy your day thank you